know when to shift on the violin. While this definitely comes with time and practice, there's three basic reasons why you would choose to shift. Keep watching to find those out. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Megan. I'm a violinist and teacher who's been playing for over 20 years, and I love just sharing tips and tricks and my experience with you guys. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, and you can also check me out on Instagram at Suzuki Violin Teacher. So like I said in the intro, knowing when to shift definitely takes time and practice, but there are three basic reasons why you would choose to do so. Reason number one is to play a note that is not possible in the current position that you are in. So say for example, you're playing in first position, but all of a sudden you need to play a high D. You obviously cannot play that note in first position no matter how hard you stretch. Well, I don't know if you have like a really long finger, maybe you could, but in general, we are going to need to shift up to third position in order to be able to play that note. Now this of course works both ways. Say I'm playing in third position and I need to play a low A. Then obviously I have to shift back down to first position. While it is possible to play the same note in several positions, there are certain notes that just aren't possible in the position that you're in and that would be a reason to shift. Reason number two is to prevent string crossing. Now, I think we can all agree that string crossings are hard and should be avoided at all costs. <laughs> so if I had a passage that was made up mostly of D, E, F sharp, and G, it would be a lot easier for me to play that on the A string because I can play all of those notes without string crossing. This is especially useful if you're playing a piece or a passage that is extremely fast. And I think this is the thing that takes the most practice because sometimes you don't even realize that you're making it harder for yourself by staying in one position where you have a lot of string crossings rather than switching to another position where you have less string crossings. So if you find that you're playing something, you're having to cross a lot of strings, try it in a different position and see if that's any easier. Reason number three, I think is the most subjective of the three reasons, and that would be to invoke a certain tone color or character. I think we can all agree that all four strings sound different, and playing something in first position on the A string is going to sound a lot different than playing it high up on the G string. different, right? So that would be another reason why you would choose to shift. Say you're playing something on the E string, but it just sounds too bright. It sounds too tinny. Maybe go over to third position on the E, or sorry, on the A string, or if you're feeling really daring, over to like fifth or sixth position on D string. So those are the three main reasons why you would choose to shift. One is to play a note that's not possible in your current position. Two is to avoid string crossings, and three is to invoke a certain tone color or character. Um, if you enjoyed, definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.